Today, we are not only celebrating the love that has united Lauren and Andrew in marriage, but also of two families that have created, molded, and influenced the lives of these two special people. We have known Andrew for over 10 years, I think. They were maybe 15 when they started dating. From the first day, we considered him a part of our family. Of course, it didn't hurt that you told me you liked my pasta sauce. <laughs> when Lauren came along 10 years ago, she brought out the best qualities in Andrew, and we hoped she would be the one. She changed his world with her intelligence, integrity, loyalty, love, and honesty. Lauren, we really do love you for that. It was so emotional watching Lauren and Andrew exchange their vows at the magnificent St. Peter's Basilica, which was the same church where we got married only a mere 36 years ago. Love is the stuff that not only brings two people together, the marriage, but it's the glue that binds that marriage together. Love. A gift of our very selves to somebody else. Our very lives. Love is very precious. It really is the most precious thing we have other than our lives itself. I would care to suggest that marriage that Andrew and Lauren will enter into today is one that will shine out like a beacon, be a light for others, like a city built on a hill that cannot be hidden. Andrew, any time that Lauren talks about you, she is always smiling. You truly make her happy. During the time we have known Andrew, we realize how special he is to Lauren and what a great son-in-law he will be. Above all, we know you love our daughter and want the best for her. We also realize that she has found a partner, a trusted friend, and husband who will love and honor, cherish, and take good care of her. Lauren, you look absolutely stunning tonight. I am so happy that you and Andrew found each other walking those high school hallways. I remember sitting in STA's cap asking Lauren, so, you like Andrew? You guys gonna start dating? Asking Andrew, so, do you like Lauren? You gonna start dating? And both of them, no, 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 we're just friends. Like, no, that's not us. Oh, okay, sure. Andrew, I can't believe how much you've grown up uh, these past few years. You have a house, a fantastic job, a cute dog, and now a wife. Um, I'm so proud of you and what you've accomplished, and you deserve all the happiness in the world. Love was made for me and you. When you were just a tiny baby, we wondered where life would take you. 
Today we look at the person you've become and realize that the dreams we held in our heart for you are alive in your beautiful spirit. We watched you grow and blossom into an amazing young woman. You have met every challenge in your life with courage and never let anything hold you back from pursuing your goals and dreams. Andrew, every time I think that I could not be happier for you, something new happens to remind me how blessed I am to be your mother. Thank you for being such a wonderful son. I could not have asked for you to be any better than you are. I love you because you are like no one else that I have ever known. You are kind, you are genuine, you're humble, and you're honest. You know who you are and what you value, and I respect that so deeply about you. In a world with so much uncertainty and chaos, you are my rock. Over the years, your strength, kindness, and unconditional love has been shown to me in so many ways. Uh, you balance me, you ground me, and there's nothing more that I could ask for in a partner. As nervous as I've been about this whole thing, none of that has been about marrying you. It's been about the surrounding events, such as public speaking. <laughs> and I've never been so sure of anything in my entire life. You are one of the most selfless, determined, and loving people I have ever met, and I love you with all my heart and always will.